Oh well, finally actually getting around to doing it and seeing about. I'm just putting my glove on here to actually get rid of this horrible carpet out of this thing because, as you'll know, when I plan to go off a rooting, excuse all that, uh, <laughs> I kind of went a little bit off roading in our field, and well, that's the aftermath, aftermath. I don't know what they're, they're called, but they are absolutely delicious. And they're meant to be for ice creams, but that side, plan to cut the carpet out because everyone knows your discoveries. Like, if you look in the footwell over there, which you probably can't see, is a tad wet. It's been like that for about not too long. So, what I'll do is I'll try and cut the carpet out. Get rid of it. And hopefully, the camera can pick it up. And this is dredged. This is what I mean. Well, that's a nice carpet. It's well, there. It's a sponge. That's bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went better than that. That's why I need this carpet out. Where it's all wet. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to crack all this quick because I've got that. Oh dear. How's that bad? This is absolutely drenched. Look at my hands. No, it was that bad, that's the truth. just in time or it's too badly gone. Oh that's what we need. Beans of something else, anyway. It's all like an air compressor that side. What, what is it? Oh, one sec. Oh,
Oh, look at that. Oh, well, that's the floor panel for Discovery 2. And there's the drenched carpet. And it is literally drenched. Which is surprising. Oh, I'll, I'll do that bit underneath there off camera. That bit sort of come out in one whole chunk. It's time to do the rear. I've got everything with just two hands, so bear with me. I don't know how much this one actually cord, it's a bit difficult to do it. Ah, just cut myself. Do it one person. But this is this is wet as well. Oh, that's why I want the carpet out because you start finding hidden things like that. Now, for the record, I haven't drove this through water where it's actually come in the doors. I've had it splash in the doors, but never come in. So, yes, it's getting interesting. Could you run around to the other side and do the same? I <sighs> can't really see much, I'm afraid, so I do apologise. CD, but it can get slow. And over here you can see there's a lot of wet water, which I'm really concerned about. This way I meant to take the carpets out of these things because of this reason. I am concerned about the driver's footwell, I will admit. I sort of want to be, I got this and all the bits I've done to it, I've sort of done it on camera, document it. And I might put the 
plastic back. I don't know just yet, but need the plastic out of the way to get the owl carpet. I've just caught myself again. So that's just tempting just to go straight through the, the carpet. I know there's wires down here. I believe there's a wire and loom that comes down here somewhere. Can't even hand rip it so what it is. in this footwell. Now when it rains this is actually watertight. In other words when it rains water doesn't come in. But water's obviously got in here somehow. Ah oh, here we are. Might get nice. Presume the carpet goes actually underneath this tunnel. Send the console trim. If it does, I'll just do that later off camera. I don't think I can. That might have to be an off camera job. There's a bit of carpet here I want to get out, but that'd have to be an off camera job. I want to say pause the video and put in the comments if you think this footwell is well rusted wet. What that is, it just basically means it's rusty but wet. Very wet. Bottle cap. I think it's the fifth one of these I found. And I do not condone drink driving. Just stuff I find out I found a car. Found a compass. Pins. Oh, some nice bits actually under here. Good thing about like, oh, good when you get them and you start doing bits, who knows what you'll find? Good and bad. Oh, 
wonder if I can get it so in one hit. There, the driver's foot well. I reckon I'll probably save it just in time. There's a lot of mud down there. Oh, yeah, a lot of mud and glass. Yeah, that'll have to obviously be attentioned when he surfaced, but. Oh well, this is my video of a of me stripping the interior of my disco too. Hmm. You know what to do? Like, subscribe, place comments if you wish. The other benefit of me taking the carpet out is my fuel gauge tells me porkies. I've got three screws missing, which makes me suspicious. And obviously my cinder's gone, and the only way to get it is to get the carpet up, so I need to get it up anyway. But with how wet it is here, I'm actually pleased I've done it, because I've, I've had a rusted floor pan like Discovery 1s. In case anyone's ever wondering, the five-seater versions, which this is, you actually have the bolt bolt mouldings and holes already to actually put the seven seats in. So of course if you bought the seat, you'd put it here where the bin is. That's also where you like your rails and that go. Your trim mounts and seat belt ones obviously come up here. And these, if you pop this off, there's bolt holes there for your headrests. Oh, I've got to get that off, I forgot about that. Oh well. <sighs> Hopefully do some more videos like this. Then actually do some where I'm actually going off-roading. What it's built for, hence why it's brought. <sighs> Fish. <laughs>